Hello friends, what's up? This is Siddhi Bangar. So welcome to today's session with an academy. Let's crack it. So this is a demo video about what we'll be doing in tomorrow's session. This is to inform you on how the tomorrow session will look like on the newspaper reading. So without much further ado, this is Siddhi Bangar, your friend, educator and mentor. I have three years of cumulative teaching experience. I'm a CSE graduate from BIT Mesra Rachi. I've appeared for UPSC and four times in mains and interviews. I've qualified CATSAT and other exams and I have my MBA and HR degree from XLRI Jamshedpur. So most of you already know me and this is for those who don't know me. Going further, so I am working with India's largest learning platform which is an academy. And it is our endeavor to provide you with the best content, best educators at the time and place of your choosing. Going further, so here we take certain life classes. We have life tests and quizzes, structured courses and unlimited access. So I'll just briefly tell you what this is. Uh, I'm already running a course on an academy, uh, which is about science and technology, where I'm covering the entire, uh, science, the entire year's science and technology, right from May 2019 to May 2020. We're already halfway through the course. I invite you to join the course or at least have a look at the videos. The first les lesson is actually free and it's available as a special class. And for more, you will have to take in an academy subscription. Again, we have live tests and quizzes on our uh, platform after each three or seven sessions so that you can test whatever you have learned. And more than that, you also are provided with PDF notes uh, in the language of your choosing, which, which type of course you are taking. If you're taking a course in Hindi, no notes will be in Hindi. If you're taking a course in English, all the notes will be in English and you can directly download them post the class. And most importantly, uh, the problem that I used to find with certain other classes was that uh, I didn't know what is what are we going to learn on the next day. But here at an academy, you will always know what you will be learning in the next lecture. So they're structured courses. The course content is already out, so you can come prepared to the class like you would do in an offline class. Finally, one subscription. So whether you have taken a subscription from my code or from any other, uh, other person's code, you are always welcome to our classes. One subscription and you are welcome to an academy. You can view all the upcoming courses, the present running courses that are there and the live and recorded courses which were uh, which have been done in the past along with the notes that are available with them going further obviously you will be preparing with the top educators in the country so that is Munal is already there Sudarshan is there who's teaching geography Roman is there as a source of motivation for everybody and finally we have a gamut of courses starting from polity history current affairs optional courses environment and ecology so nothing for the UPSC prelims or the UPSC mains has been left out. We also have UPSC CSE batches. What does that mean? That uh, the entire course of UPSC CSE is run by three or four teachers in a batch format. So we have new batches starting up uh, on 11th May, 18th May and 25th May. For more information, you can visit our site. And finally, if you uh, intend to come to our platform and we hope you will and we welcome you there. The one year subscription on our platform is just for 44,000 rupees. And if you use my code Siddhi Bangar at Unacademy Plus or SBUS, it is very easy to remember. You instantly get a 39, uh, or you instantly get a 10% discount, which makes the cost of this subscription 39,600 rupees only. So there's an instant production of 10% discount or approximately 5,000. Rupees. So that code, remember this code, it is very important. It will actually help you saving your money or our subscriptions. Most importantly, if you find that even this cost is very high for you, though we are offering you a staggering 55% discount, there is a no cost EMI actually available on our 6th month, 12 month and 24 month subscription. This is actually the right time to be on our platform because a lot of exciting courses are coming up. And obviously, you know that it's the best top educators choice to be on an academy because it's a national repute platform. So nobody wanted to, uh, nobody wants to miss the train. Even the offline teachers are actually teaching here on this platform. So you can grab hold of the best educators around the country. Finally, for a 24 month subscription, we are offering a staggering 67% off. That makes the cost of per month subscription only approximately 2,500 rupees and a yearly and a two yearly cost of 64,000 rupees. But again, if you remember my code SBUS, which is a golden thing for you, 
then you get an instant 10% discount which reduces the cost from 64,000 uh, 64, to 57,600 only. Again, there is a no cost EMI available on our 24 month subscription. So if you cannot pay up front, you can pay up in EMIs and there will be no additional interest charged. Going further, this session is about uh, firstly, how will I teach you to read the newspapers? Okay, and not just how to teach you the newspapers, but also tell you what to read on a day-to-day -day basis. All right. So this session is about what to study in the newspaper on a day-to-day -day basis. I will be highlighting the articles that are relevant for you on the uh, day that you're reading the newspaper. How will that help? It will actually reduce your time to find out the articles relevant for you for that day because even that consumes a lot of time to find out what is important in today's newspaper. Why am I not giving you a complete news analysis? It is because I feel that an analysis should be your own thing and not our mindset. It should be your own mindset that will help you build opinion both for the mains exam and the interviews without which you cannot actually become a civil servant. So going forward, why actually read the newspapers in the first place? Read the newspapers because maximum amount of your paper, 60 to 70 percent of your paper is actually current affairs only, whether it's optionals or it's the GS papers. Whatever was there in news, is there in news or can be in news is actually covered as a part of the UPSC syllabus and finally as a part of the questions that are asked in the examination. And the second most thing which I keep telling my students why it is important is it helps you learn to articulate and if you learn to articulate you write better answers and if you write better answers definitely you score more marks in the mains examination which actually builds up your merit list. So all those people who have actually scored good marks in mains are the people who have actually topped the exam. So why not be that person? Going for the what to read is what is I am going to take up in these daily sessions which will be between 9.30 to or 9 to 10 a.m. Anywhere between 9 to 10 a.m. Uh, and I will be informing you a day in advance. You will always get the notification a day in advance. So that and we are trying to do it as early as possible so that whenever you open the newspaper, you already have this video in front of you and then you can tick mark the articles along with me. Also, it will be uh, premiered. It won't be a premiered video. It will be a live video. So either you can study the newspaper with me and you can ask your doubts there and also. Now, what will I cover and how will I be helping you? I will actually be telling you the articles that you're supposed to read, a brief, a little brief about the articles. And I'll be covering the articles from both the newspapers, the Hindu and the Indian Express. I thought, why only one newspaper? Some, some janta might be reading the Hindu, some janta might be reading the Indian Express. So let's, uh, let's give them uh, best of both the worlds. So the people who are reading Indian Express, they won't miss out on the Hindu. If they find that certain article looks like of interest to them in the Hindu, they can then go and visit the Hindu and read that article. And similarly for the people who are reading the Hindu and sometimes miss out on the Indian Express news, they'll know that, okay, today this is what is relevant to us in the Indian Express and we should actually go and listen to it or we should actually go and uh, read it. Other than that, when I'll be taking that session, I'll be telling you that why this information is important or... I will also be making the markings on how much importance or how much importance you should attach to that article. So if it is very, very important, I'll ask the people to read both the articles, whether it is in the Hindu or in the Indian Express to actually make it a must read for today. Okay, going further, session timings, as I already told you, it will be normally between 9 to 10 a.m. Not earlier, it can be earlier, but not later than 10 a.m. because then it loses its purpose. So most of our students, this is the first thing we want to do in the morning. That is to read the newspapers. A fresh, uh, uh, to be able to read a fresh newspaper early in the morning is actually a pleasure. So let's enhance that pleasure by reducing our time to actually find out what's relevant and what's not relevant. Going further, an example, but before I proceed to example, I would, uh, you must be wondering about my credentials. So I'll let you know my credentials. While I was preparing for the civil services, I cleared my mains exam just basis the newspapers. I used to read three to four newspapers at that point of time. The Indian Express, the Hindu, Economic Times, and uh, any other, uh, and Dainik Bhaskar. I used to read Dainik Bhaskar in Hindi and other, other newspapers I could follow around. So whenever there was an important news, say in the Washington Post, the Huffington Post or the New York Times, I used to read that also to get a worldwide view of the things. And it greatly helped me in clearing my exam because everything which was there in the question paper, it might be static also, but 
you know the news keeps repeating itself the issues are getting older but they never get irrelevant so the issues are still the same at least all around the world some of the issues never change so if you're reading the current affairs daily then it really helps you to write the answers and that is the reason i was able to clear my mains exam in my maiden attempt even when i was not able to fully prepare my optionals that were geography and public administration i had just prepared one one paper for each of them and just trusted my instincts or my current affairs preparation and went on to give the exam and finally appeared for my interviews so let's go ahead with the example so first i'll tell you about the hindu newspaper okay so in today's hindu what are we supposed to read i will just take the first page as an example because we'll be doing the entire hindu tomorrow so for today this was an important news simply to show that it has covid 19 has actually become an urban blight so you could just read the headline and maybe see these graphs nothing more than that just to know what are the numbers in mumbai what is the city's death toll rate and what other cities are actually badly inflicted by the corona virus so what does this news actually tell us it tells us that in the urban areas uh, in, in uh, usually diseases actually cause a havoc in the rural areas but covid 19 has actually make it a make it an urban plight the urban areas are badly impacted and that has led to a lot of migrant laborers leaving the urban areas and going to back to their villages the second news that would have been important is obviously china reaches accord with india on lac spat it has been this is an issue which has been simmering not just for now so it's not just the pangong lake in lay this issue has been simmering since 2013 and in fact if we go back dating back to 1962 since then when we lost the war to china we actually lost a large part of the jnk territory or the aksai chain to china and since then the boundary issue has been simmering so obviously this will be very important because even in 2017 we had a doklam standoff and that was when the president was actually in india and similar things have happened the president the chinese president just met our prime minister in 2019 at mahabalipuram and still we are having a army standoff in fact this was one of the big standoffs because the galwan valley area where the standoff is right now going on is actually not a previously uh, disputed area so it was this dispute was kind of new so that's why this article becomes important and i would recommend anybody reading the first page to actually read this article going further another important news in today's newspaper was gujarat's pride grows at its now host 674 gir lions so the number of lions have increased from 523 to 674 though the way the census was carried out was not very scientific but an increase shows that we are doing something right over here and obviously it's related to wildlife and our conservation and wildlife practices so this article becomes important but what will we read here we will only read the numbers or maybe the graph is also enough nothing more than that requires to be read and additionally in the map you need to mark where is the gir forest in gujarat or gil wildlife sanctuary in gujarat or the gil national park in gujarat all right now this was about the hindu i'll also give you a brief example of how to do it with the indian express so in the indian express if we consider the first page we have this so this is actually not important we won't deal with this china confirms both are taking steps to ease lsc situation whether you are reading the hindu or the indian express i would still ask you to go through this information if you are reading one of those newspapers then definitely this is the go to information if you are reading both the newspapers then you can go through either of one of the news regarding india and china that should be suffice now how do you read this article entire article maybe you can read this page only this column it will give you a definite idea of what is actually going on in the boundary right now and then read the e explain so it actually in the short form it explains what is the crux of this entire article so maybe you we need not actually follow it on page 2 and save ourselves the time finally we can just simply read the number here 67 migra lakh migrants returned to 116 uh, districts in six states why is the problem because normal see challenge trains leave cities full but return with fewer so this has been actually a simmering issue in the news that we are trying to open the industries we are trying to open the shops but there's no labor to work in it so this actually tells us about the extent of migration which has happened the reverse migration which has happened from cities to the villages so i would just ask you to read this impo important news and i would briefly tell you what the, what is the meaning of this article finally 
going further on the first page only we would have asked you to, i would have asked you to read rap to india on religious freedom visas denied to us uh, teams advising us congress so in uh, the 2019 april 2019 the united states commission on international religious for, uh, freedom okay they advise the us congress that uh, you know india is should be on the watch list for denying religious freedom to its people so this time when they wanted to visit india they were actually denied visas by the ministry of external affairs because they said that certain constitutionally given rights to our citizens uh, the right to freedom of religion is a constitutionally given right to our citizens so there is no foreign body which can actually uh, question the rights that have been given to our citizens by our constitution they are nobody to meddle in our internal affairs and that's why these uh, this commission was actually denied visas when they wanted to visit india so it's an important piece of news why because secularism is a is a part of the basic structure of our constitution and anything which actually tries to disrupt it or remotely related to it becomes important for our understanding on what are the threats and denials that are related to our constitutional values so that's why this article actually becomes important so this is how we'll be discussing the entire paper uh, today i'll be i'm only as a part of this video i'm only demonstrating what we'll be doing tomorrow so tomorrow i'll be covering the entire 12 pages of the indian express and the other complete hindu on what articles to read and what to leave out so that way you will have a brief idea on what to read and what not to read and it will greatly help you reduce your time in reading the newspaper you can simply start to mark the articles along with me or even if you're not able to do it live with me you can after uh, once you've finished or once you've gotten up and want to read the newspaper you can simply watch the video and mark the articles in the end i will also provide you a brief uh, written format of the uh, articles that you are supposed to read so not just i'll do it paper by paper so that you don't have to watch the full video i will also provide in the last two slides simply the names of the articles that you have to read today so that it may, becomes easier for you to read the newspapers helps you save time and obviously an academy is always there to help you out all right going further i would like to continue and tell you that okay this is my telegram group link for uh, current affairs all right a lot of people are already members of it so here i post about my upcoming videos and in case you have any doubts my an academy students are here they can ask me doubts they can call me up and uh, definitely i inform them about the next sessions that i'll be taking and finally this is my telegram channel link here also i post my upcoming videos or the classes that i'll be taking i also inform them about the daily and academy classes that i'm taking so that nobody misses out on the informed uh, important information that we an, an academy want to share with you so all the best for your preparation and hope you found this video useful and hope to see a lot of you in tomorrow's session so tomorrow's session is planned at 9:30 am in the morning on youtube i have shared the link of my tomorrow's session on my telegram channel and group both so you can become a part of it and know that there is a session i have shared the link there and i will also share the link under the comment section of this video when it is premiered so that you have the link to my video tomorrow and you do not miss out on important articles both from the hindu and the indian express that you need to watch out for or read for in the morning and i would be glad to help you save your time so if you like this video please hit the bell icon for notifications subscribe to our channel and use my code siddhi bangla on academy plus to get an instant 10% discount on our one year and two year subscription which will make your cost 57000 for a two year subscription and for a one year subscription it will bring down your cost to approximately 40000 only with that thank you and have a good day